Woman stuck upside down in exercise machine calls 911 for help. Dude, Ooh. I love that she had her phone on her. <laughs> Stick around, make a sound. There's more dumb people town. Guys, want to talk to you about our sponsor, mm -hmm. Hymns. You're confident in the office, at the dinner table, and even on the dance floor. But can you keep it going when you get back to the bedroom, Jay? That's right. With Hymns, you can get access to medications to ensure your erectile dysfunction gets treated so you can keep the confidence going all day and all night. Start your free online visit today at Hymns.com slash DPT. That's H-I-M-S dot com slash DPT for your personalized ED treatment options. Hymns dot com slash d p t restrictions apply see website for details and important safety information hey townies welcome to another episode of dumb, dumb people town population you population pemberton johnny pemberton oh, what's johnny up, q, buddy? is it john q pemberton john q pemberton it's uh it's jimmy jason jack crack corn pemberton <laughs> the second Lord. pemberton the yeah. second okay good and those are minnesota vikings colors on this your is, for those who are vikings watching hoodie this is a vikings <laughs> this sweatshirt is yeah. we're representing dude quick, says, trip, yes. quick trip in the vikings and i'm yes. all nothing 30. says minnesota <laughs> vikings God. more than sunshine yellow <laughs> exactly. This I mean, it's a little yellow in the, the beard, helmet. right? Well, it's well, the so Vikings. The colors are purple, purple and, and gold. So yeah. when when there is a yellow out at a Vikings game, people really go nuts, I right? Know. They I really try and yellow, yellow people out. eaters. They do a white out now. They <laughs> don't do a yellow. They out. do a yellow out. They Why do, do they should? They do a white out. That's just people in Minnesota. Can I ask a question <laughs> that many townies who are also sports fans, maybe even the two of you, will make fun of me for. You may as well, but I do not know this. What what is why do you guys yell skull? Because it's That's, a it's a Nordic thing. It's, it's a Nordic a, thing. Like I swear to cheers. God, based on how I yeah. was you raised it was in dipping? Northern dip, Illinois, dip. Yes, you thought no, it was dip. because well, of that. Because yeah. of the culture of living in the Midwest, because people and yell Wisconsin, and my afterwards. family and people in Minnesota, and I was like, I guess it probably sometime in the early nineties, they just started cheering for how much they loved dip. Well, right. it means it means long cut in Norwegian. That's a <laughs> <laughs> I did you see me look at you like Dan yes. was like, uh huh. You saw it. Dan, Dan said, uh huh. It is. Of course I did. Dan Long it is cut. Viking for like charge. charge. Look, I, I have no problem that, admitting right? you're or dumb. Cheers, I have right? a problem with people who stay that way. So <laughs> Dan's it's learning. Like, right, Dan. there's no dumb questions. So Dan, it's just you are a, always, like, that's what I love about you. You are always I'm evolving. Evolving. Unlike Johnny, forward. who has been like in a static stasis from the yeah, time he's 15 years old. I'm in lockdown. You are evolving. He so you guys static. yell skull. Yeah, it's As, kind of, it is a newer thing, though. Okay. It's a thing that started, I don't know. I've been a Vikings fan for about three and a half years, okay. to be honest. Yeah, okay. I got into them, but now I like really like them a lot. And great, I, feel like I it's love like, it. What a great thing to, to come games. to them I late in life. I think, it's a good, I think it's a good team it's for a good people team to love. A lot of they victories. are not good. Right. Well, so I became a fan of the Lions fun. a couple years ago, and, and yeah. they were not good when I became right. a fan, and now they are, are good. And everyone thinks I'm bandwagoning, but I was in on them when they didn't make the playoffs. What made you join the Lions? Just because of college. You started loving all things Michigan because of Well, Colin? because they drafted one of my favorite players in Who's recent that? time from Michigan, Aiden Hutchinson, the okay. defensive end. I'm like, this is a guy who's going to change the culture here. I know it. Because he know did it, it at Michigan. I know it. I know it. I know it. And he did. And he was hmm. part of it. All right. Should we jump into a Let's dumb story? Let's jump into a dumb yeah, story because dumb people are doing dumb things and we'll talk about what you're doing. Skull. Okay. Skull. 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 Skull into this story. Skull. All right. <laughs> this is sent in by Larissa at the girl on the wall. And you want her on that wall. You, you need, need her, her on that wall. Uh, here's the headline. Man claiming to be time traveler throws brick through window to save homeowners. Ooh. I mean, in his mind, he's doing it right. Look, I, I love sci-fi. Sci We're probably justifiably about to make fun of this person. But what if he what is if a time traveler? Really what if he is a time traveler? The like, question is, what's he saving them from? What, right? And yeah. by throwing a brick through a window, what are you really doing? You're really just damaging well, property. So, so... Like but if they were going to go to dinner and then they were going to get uh, killed on the way to that dinner, throwing a brick through their window will ruin that night and they will not go to that dinner. True. So maybe they, I understand what you're saying. You're trying to throw a wrench into their plans to keep them Through the safe. window, a wrench mm. into their window. It, a it, wrench. it shouldn't be a fly, a fly in the ointment. It should be a brick in the window. Let's put a brick in the window. Well, after all, thing. hey, we're just another New brick in the window. corporate term. We're just another brick oh, in the window. It's a fly in the ointment. It's, it's a, a brick, brick in, in the window. window, ain't it? And then it's a brick in a window. It's a brick in a window. <laughs> <laughs> a window brick. All right. So here's the other thing. When you see a crazy person on the street, like 
you ain't gonna tell me that. Shut your mouth, Charlene, right. or right. whatever. God damn, like. Well, Charlene is a bitch. What they're hearing on the other side is the other half of that conversation. Right. They're hearing Charlene say, "I've never liked you. You're a bad mm-hmm. person," mm-hmm. and they're responding to something. Right. So in their world, it's very real. Right. right. Oh yeah, you I made a mistake of this. having a conversation with a person who was talking to themselves once. When I first moved to LA, I mm-hmm. was like, and the guy got so mad at me. Mm-hmm. So, and you jumped yeah, in. you're fucking up the yeah, other conversation I, he's having. You're interrupting. I interrupted. I interrupted. You interrupted, you interrupted the person that, who wasn't Johnny. there. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, a man, and we'll get into how old he is later, claiming to be a time traveler, was arrested after he told Ocala police that he threw a brick through a home window to save the occupants from a home future. Home window. From a future event. This is a Florida story. Right. Uh, Ocala. Ocala, Florida. Ocala Central Florida. Florida. Yeah. On Saturday, May 13th. A day that will live on in it. Yeah, because you saved their fucking lives. You'll never forget. Remember where we are. An Ocala Police Department officer responded to a local residence in reference to a possible burglary. Upon arrival, the officer made contact with the victims who owned the home. According to the rest report, the victims told the officers that a loud crash woke them up. And Worst they heard, sound you could ever hear. Loud and they crash? heard their baby crying. All right, so now. Oh, that's bad. This is crazy. Why? He's trying to save the whole family. And I don't the get baby. what you guys aren't getting Dan, here. I, you know that if the guy's just standing there when the police come and says, what well, you guys don't understand, that's the way the, all, every conversation starts. Yes. Right. So uh, when they checked on their baby, they observed that a bassinet filled with stuffed animals was on the ground and the window was smashed. That, so he threw the brick through the baby's, baby's window. window. Whoa. God this damn is, it. God this, damn it. What if the this, baby is the reason this changes it. they kill him? The baby kills him. Talk about baby Hitler? Yeah. I was about to say, is this, is this baby Hitler? So baby. Dana Gould's video. Bit, you know Dana's bit yeah the, that great bit about like if, if I, I someone showed him a picture of a little baby and it's like how adorable is this baby and he's like it's a cute baby and he's like what if I told you that's Charlie Manson as a baby he'd be like oh my he was like that's insane he and then he got me he's like if I could go back in time I would go back in time and take Charlie the time machine go back and take the baby, Char- the baby, Char- baby Charlie, Charlie, Charlie Manson and, and baby Hitler and, and I would use the baby Charlie Manson to beat and destroy <sighs> baby Hitler he's like sure at the time, time it would look weird <laughs> 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 yeah. It's great. Uh, they advised that a large brick was also found on the floor, according to the OPD report. In addition, the victims stated that they found a book outside their home near the front door that did not belong to them. Time well, traveling for dummies. Though? This is important. The right. time traveler's wife. It should, it be, should the be the time, time traveler's, traveler's wife, wife or Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I mean, like, what should it be? The Pelican Brief or something, Thank you. you know? Thank something you. really that innocuous. <laughs> yeah. The <laughs> shooting script to the firm. <laughs> it's the game. <laughs> the game. By mystery. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. And Neil Strauss. Uh, mystery. <laughs> uh, you got to neg him. You got to neg him. You got to neg this family. You got to uh, neg, neg that baby. The officer walked around the per- perimeter of the victim's home and noted the report that the gate to the backyard was open. The officer observed the broken window. The window screen was was found on the ground. The back door of the victim's pool was also open. The victims informed the officer that prior to the incident, the gate was secure and the screen was on the window. Obviously. Yeah. We don't leave a screen on the ground and we don't yeah. leave a door. The brick so, didn't come from the baby's bassinet. Yeah. The brick isn't coming from inside the house. Do we know that, though? Exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm we trying to say. Know, do we know? Do we right. know who this baby's going to be? Know. This guy knows who this baby's going to be. Right. Is this baby reading? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that book. Is yeah. that book from the future and it's the baby's book? Oh, my God. I wish it. Several officers canvassed the neighborhood in an attempt to lo- locate a nearby security camera and a residence was observed that had an open front door. Mm-hmm. The officers made contact with one of the home's occupants who identified himself as Daniel Robert Dinkins. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, was guys, he the mayor of New York? That's, he, Daniel Dink. That's two thirds of my name. Daniel, Daniel Robert. My, yes. Van but I, Kirk. my last name is Van Kirk. So Daniel Robert. Unless this guy is, is you from the future, Dan. Whoa. Dan! You and he did this because he knew it was going to make on this on show. Double Double Town. Town. Whoa. <laughs> okay, shut it down. Shut, shut it, it down. down. Shut it down. <laughs> shut it down. As Gordon Ramsay says, shut it shut down. Shut it down. down. Shut it down. According to the OPD report, the officers told Dinkins, Mayor Dinkins, Mayor, Mr. Dinkins, would, would you please, please be, be my mayor, mayor? <laughs> uh, that they were in the neighborhood investigating a burglary that had occurred down the road. Dinkins spotted Spontaneously told the officers that may have been me. <laughs> now that may have been me. That may. But I'm not back yet from the future, so I don't know that if that was me. That may have been me. God. He further informed the officers that he had gone swimming at the victim's home and threw a brick through the window. <laughs> oh, this is a classic crazy. <laughs> right. So yeah. this is a nut. Yeah. So when someone says there may have so been I'm a. I'm starting to get bummed out because I yeah. really was like. There may have been a. Future. Wait, yeah. there may have been a. a Burglary in the neighborhood, and you go all the way to I. That may have been me. I threw a brick, th- brick through the window, and I also was swimming in their pool. 
Well, look, I missed might, that part. He swam in the pool. In yeah, the pool. he said I, I, I swam in the he's pool. He's also soaking yeah. wet in his clothes. This might as well be the Joker here. Yeah, for all he's got another guys. brick in his hand. <laughs> Yeah. And <laughs> brick in the hands were two in the bass. After being read his Miranda rights, Dingens admitted that a he broke broken the hand is worth two in the bassinet. You know uh, that. You know that, Dan. <laughs> he admitted to I really that, wanted him to be a time traveler. That I he did. broke into the victim's residence to go swimming in their pool. That's all he wanted to do. Hey man. Yeah. Public pool. Quick fu- quick question, interjection, Your Honor, if I may. Sure. Did any of you at any point in your life pool hop? No. You jump no. in other people's pools. Like we, you go around town in high school and no. you just jump from one. You we go didn't like have swim the swimming pool, get out, run, no, go to another pool. We did not no, have I was yeah. like convinced. Pretty we fun did. thing. To of course. <laughs> terrifying so if you're Exciting. the family. Oh my God, you're in high school. It's you and like a couple of girls you have crushes on. And yes. It's a whole group of people running around, jumping into pools. And I mean, it's, maybe you're a little, you know, you don't need to underage drink, but it's Rochelle. It's so. trespassing, but it's a victimless crime of yeah. some sort. Yeah, 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 you're yeah. just getting the experience in comfort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you take a little shit in the pool, right? A, little, a little, tiny little, little shit. Everyone yeah. takes a little bit of a shit. And then a yes. tiny brick yeah. through the baby's bassinet. Right. <laughs> Leave a book on the front Arm desk. Just kids just being kids. Books. Leave it a book on the you front know, stoop. Just kids being book. kids. Uh, and he left the book on the front door because he, quote, wanted to share the book with them. Is it the autobiography of Leah? I Ayakoga? like this guy. This is a full crazy. This <laughs> yeah. is like the full on, like, mm-hmm. this man is. It's the diary of Anne Frank. Uh, He's uh, done so many things here that, like, if it was just one, you'd be like, all right, this guy's nuts. But then yeah. the swimming and the book right, yeah. makes him huge. Yeah, it better be the Da Vinci Code. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Dink- this is the Da Vinci Code. Dinkins further admitted that he had grabbed a brick and used it to break the window. So basically they said there may have been a burglary down the street and this guy won't start When did stop he start talking. talking about time traveling? The OPD report said that Dinkins told investigators that he was a time traveler and yeah. needed to save the victims from an event that is going to occur in the future. Can you tell us what that mm. event is? I need is. more details. We need more details. During the post Miranda interview, Dinkins advised that he was unaware that a baby was inside the room when he broke the window because in his eyes, it's an older person. 23 year old kid. How could right. you have not known? He yeah. also told investigators he was trying to save the baby from something way in the future when the child is much older. Oh what? My God. This is. I need more details. I mean, I kind of. Dan, I'm, I'm sort this of on is, his side. He he has good intentions. Yeah. He has good drugs too. Yeah. Great whatever drugs. He's smoking, this, is, this is a meth. Whatever he's cooking. Sort of thing. It feels. Let like. him cook. Let him cook. The drugs. Dinkins was arrested, transported to Marion County Jail, where he was released on the same day. On how much bond? Mm. What's the bond for something like this, Dan? Ten grand. Ten grand. Yeah. Five, grand. Five grand. Five grand. Twenty grand. Get your answers in. You guys are all hovering around it. $15,000. Okay, oh. there you go. He's facing a felony charge for burglary of an occupied dwelling. Court date has not yet been scheduled, but I'm sure he knows when it is. He does. If he's, he's already done future. it. He's been in court. <laughs> court in jail record. He knew this was going to happen. I'm going to show you a picture of him. He looks a little like Seth Morris with a, with a goatee. Um, yeah. Can you see oh, him? Yeah, it is kind of Sethy. Can you he see him? He looks like he works at Universal's Halloween Horror Nights. Mm-hmm. And he definitely is like... Or auditioned. just <laughs> has <laughs> the soul patch. That's all he's got downstairs. Right, right. Uh, that guy's definitely on that. You saw his picture. Let's how guess old? how old is that? How old is Mr. Um, Dinkins? Mr. Would you Dinkins be my mayor? mayor? Daniel photo. Robert Dinkins. 26. That's a good guess. That's a good 26 guess. 26 years old? Yep. Okay. 23. 23. Damn it, that's what I was going to say. Sorry, Michael Jordan. I'll go swoosh. <laughs> swoosh. That's what he said when the brick went through the baby's room. <laughs> swoosh. I really, I mean, I, I hate to do it, but I. Three points. He's 24. He's 24 years old. It's okay. All right. Get your answers in because he is from the future, from your age. Oh, yeah. Okay. This man is 37 years wow. old. Wow. Hey, he looks that kid, good. That kid is not. Zoom. See, I, I was guessing it, drugs that he by looks the way, older time than Time travel is, is treating him well. Mm-hmm. It's a good look. It's how, old, like, how old is he? 37 years old. I can God, see it now. Good. I see it. He looks good. Yeah, he looks it. good. Come on, Dan. Dan, he looks good. There's not a gray hair that was from on his face. That's far away. That's far away. Not a gray, yeah. not a gray he hair looks good. on right, Dan his open face. It. Sorry, sorry. All right. Okay, fine. Please look at this man. He that's, looks good. Yeah, he's 37. Looks like a, that's a that's baby face. Maybe he's good. the baby. You're right. He You're looks right. like. What if he's the baby? Matt Dillon. Like, if that's a Matt Dillon character. Yeah, it looks very it's Matt like Dillon. Dave Dillon. It's early Dillon. I yeah. miss Matt Dillon. We need more Matt Dillon, don't I we? I, uh, Bob Dillon. Me. We need more right. Bob Dillon. I just right. saw Matt Dillon. Yeah. yeah in, uh, in a coffee shop? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? At, uh, what's that place? Yeah, Adam. But what's that place people go that like you have to have a membership? I have a so house. So hot. Yes. Hey man, Love it. Hey, how's it going? Hey, man. All right. Hey, man, how's it going? All right. God, uh, we're going to take a break. I like that- this girl. I like this girl a lot, but I don't know. She's <laughs> fucking crazy. 
Pretty good. Fucking uh, crazy. Dude, I, need get, I need to get a gun. Oh, no, 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 you don't. No, you don't. Don't Shit. Get All right, fuck, fuck man. What's your name, man? <laughs> Johnny Pemberton is with us. We have uh, more Two Dylan more impressions. We're going to tell him what he's got going on, and uh, we'll give our stuff that we have on the other side. The Breaking Stump People Town. Don't go anywhere. Stick around. Make a sound. There's more Dumb People Town. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the show. Welcome Johnny Pemberton show. is with us. I'm here. We're going to talk JP. about what he has going on so you can support him and watch the things Ooh. that he's made mm-hmm. and is doing and mm-hmm. tour and all that stuff. Uh, let's tell him about us. Uh, here's the good stuff about that we have going on. We're going to be in Denver on If This Drops Before That on uh, February 1st, 2nd, and 3rd at Comedy Works South. And then the beginning of... Uh, of March, we're going to be at the first club we ever uh, performed and got paid at Mark Ridley's Comedy Castle in Detroit. We haven't been there in like over thirty years or thirty years, so Lions. gonna be fun. Yeah, go Lions! <laughs> Detroit's happy. It's a happy town. We're excited to go there. Uh, then we're in Acme Comedy Club at the beginning of uh, April, and then Moon Tower at the end of April, and then just added, we're going to Salt Lake City. Jordan Landing that club, the Wise Guys Club. There, it will be there in May, May seventeenth, eighteenth. Uh, Superscholars.com, check it. You can get all the tickets on there. Let's sell these shows out. Send a message to everybody that you guys are strong and long and mean and all that other stuff. And we'll tell you other stuff that we have coming on and coming up, like our two-man show, which we're working on right now. All that stuff will become apparent as we continue on. Johnny, tell the people where we can find you, new stuff you got going on, all of it. You can find me right here, right now. Yes. But I'll be in Chicago February 14th through the 17th doing my one-man show. I love it. At the Den. It's oh, a yeah. Minnesota Reggae Colostomy Bag. Yes. Performing it live at the nice. Den Theater in Chicago. Love the yeah. Den. Hey, uh, Very the show born out of what? Stand-up and other uh, stuff? Yeah, it's, a, it's like a hybrid sort of mm-hmm. format, but it's, you know, it's... Uh, it's it's definitely stand-up comedy, but it's, uh, you know, no mic. Does that no make sense? Mic. Yeah, yeah, no mic. Yeah, no mic. Yeah, yeah, you're walking the prowl on the stage. Exactly. No it. mic. That's the main it. difference. I love it. it. Phenomenal. At the Den Theater. You can see the it Den. then. Uh, other dates beyond that? Um, nothing confirmed right now that I can I can remember, at least. Okay, good. All right, yeah, so Chicago, Chicago, show up. Chicago, Chicago be show there. Up, watch and the Fallout Den Theater is a great place to see stuff. So we, we did a live dump people down there. People love, love that place. I uh, love that. Yeah. I love, love that the theater. Great setup. And a great store right across, a great clothing store right across the street there. Check that out, too. Uh, shall I jump into this? Yeah, second story. All right. Uh, sent in by Matthew Friedman at Not, not Your, your average, average Matt. And it's AVG Matt <laughs> on 9-6. You ready for this? Mm-hmm. And this guy, you got to love the gumption. I'm just going to say okay. right now. Florida man who tried to cross the Atlantic in a hamster wheel is arrested. <laughs> I'm going to run across. He's gonna How come, r- why would you get arrested, though? So a Florida man was arrested. I mean, I mean, this is what people do not really understand. Did we do this story what, before? I don't think we did. We've done, uh, we did a one. Oh, maybe we did do this story. I don't actually. think we did. It does sound familiar to me. Is this a recent phenomenon? I don't think we did this story. I don't. You know what? It's, Even if we, we did, did, I don't it's going to be new jokes yeah. or you will see that our minds always work in the same right, way. Okay, fine. Right. But wait, this it's is when expensive. people truly do not understand Distances, right, right, yes. Like, right. remember when Diane and Nyad tried to? There's a whole movie about her trying to swim to Cuba, and there's all the jellyfish in there, and she kept getting stung. And she was like this unbelievable swimmer that could swim like so far, and then she became an NPR reporter. And she's like, I can swim mm-hmm. ninety miles to I Cuba. Can swim ninety miles to Cuba. I'm that like, is, I don't know. You, so sharks. I, I swim across and back uh, my to lake Cuba. Uh, <laughs> up in Wisconsin. Okay, it? it's so much. Ooh, that's a long. That's a long I would about bet that. you that across and back i actually knew this because my watch Did saved it. it but i think it was maybe it's not a huge lake so no but across and back i think it was maybe like a third of a mile okay oh okay. yeah still so there hard. is a point but you're like, and i know every, i've done it my almost my whole life you're but there is a point where you go i'm gonna drown no you just go like I'm Man, so this tired. is a little bit farther than I thought. I'm you know so what I'm saying? Tired. Like, where yes. you're like, I'm out here in the middle of this lake. Mm. And I can't I do go it, back. And I do it, say, I do a thing, it tethers around my waist, and it's like a floating, big, bright colored, like neon colored buoy mm-hmm. that you should always have with you if you're doing long, long distance mm-hmm. swimming because. Um, one, it sh- tells everybody, even though there's hours on my lake where it's no wake, so right, I shouldn't have to worry. You never know. Yeah. And then the other thing is, is if I did cramp up or I need to break, you can hold onto it and float and Smart. you wouldn't need anything else. Smart, so, dude. So, yes, I use it every time I, I swim across. But I'm just saying, even in that, which is very short, short. there you is a point where you're like, man, I still got a ways to go. I got to go. And so someone thinking, oh, I'll go to Cuba or I'll go across the Atlantic has, I don't think has any true concept of what distance 
So here's what or he the wanted waves. to do. Florida man arrested after trying to, quote, run oh, the... I mean, run forget, to, fuck, forget storm. Right. You, you could be a mile out, and you're like, oh, I mean, this storm's going to kill me. But he's in a hamster wheel. He's fine. Yeah, he's, he, he is fine. He's, By the way, he's I have there. now... drinking water Why is this thing? in my feed? Like, now all of these videos of, like, huge waves, like, crashing through ferries. Because and they're awesome. Because it's yeah, like, you like North, it once, and they're yeah. like, oh, you like that? Oh, you like, like, oh, you like that? that? You mm-hmm. like that? You like a ship getting tossed? All right, so Florida man was trying to run to London. That's his thing. The run to London. He's going to die. Crossing in a homemade vessel resembling a hamster wheel. U.S. Coast Guard From intercept- Florida, too. Would you start at Florida to get to... Isn't that even longer? Yeah, at least you got to go up. You fly yourself up you? north. Right. Start it, if you start do it like a plane, if you do it like yeah. a plane, you actually will make it shorter. You go a little bit up to come a little but bit down. You got to get the hamster wheel there. It's got to be hard to get the hamster like wheel. He should be going yeah. like you start Alaska to Russia. Right. That's 30 miles. Yeah. U.S. Coast Guard intercepted Reza Bellucci about how many miles off... Tybee Island, Georgia. So he left from Georgia on, so the, on the, Georgia. Yeah, he left. He from, left? Yeah. So Tybee. he's got to go around. No, he's no. He he's can go to Savannah. Uh, up, yeah. right? Yeah. All right, so, so okay. Still, go stupid. Knowles. I'm go 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 Knowles. Go I'm Knowles. Going. I went to Fort State, man. All right. So yeah. how yeah. did how many miles off of the coast? Oh, I, I think Island? about 69, 71, maybe. <laughs> you better be fucking sixty nine. Sixty nine or seventy one. Yeah. You. What pick are you gonna one. pick? I'm going to pick 71. Okay, what do you think? Three. And even then, I'm like impressed. I, I was going to say one. Yeah, I was. I, okay, my first thought was, is zero an option? One of you is one mile off. So now I think you it's can me. Even, okay, what do you think? It's 70 because I saw it over your shoulder. Oh, God damn you. <laughs> God damn you. Uh, you know what? You're an honest man. Yes. 70 <laughs> miles? You miles. went far, dude. So now I have to hold it like this. But why is that illegal, <laughs> though? Why he can't he? Do, why can't he do that? I, because yeah, that's why what gets me. So like, you should be able to do that. It's your, it's your so lunch. Well, I think one reason you have to, there's like, a, a, I'm sure it's federally some sort of regulation of, of knowing that people point. that you, are, like, you're in shipping lanes. Right. Right? That's right. international so Yeah, I mean, it's like, you. it's be like, can I run a marathon through an airport? Uh, no, you can't run a marathon through like, oh, but I'm just running a marathon. You can't run on the tarmac. But that's private property. The ocean, international waters, that's... that's that's, I don't that's know. So we're game. gonna. So we're gonna. Find there out. is an argument to be said. What you said that so if you want to go do, let this, me live my life, and you know you may die. Let because him die. We're not making it illegal for people to parachute. We don't make it for yeah. illegal for people to uh, do yeah, the so gliding, jump off glide, cliff stuff. Yeah, where it's like, oh, the, you mean the, w- all the squirrel, squirrel suits, suits so, and all that shit. So very, and they always go. And what do they say? They're like, oh, uh, they always have to like. Trucker Demone, whatever their yeah, name is, yeah. right? Trucker <laughs> Demone? That is the best name ever. Uh, Trucker Demone. Uh, like, my name's Trucker Demone. Trucker Demone. That's who that always name? does these types that's of lives. My name. That's, X Games always have, the, they always have the craziest <laughs> name. Truckers. Trucker Demone. He's not a trucker. Trucker Demone. His first name is Trucker. Yeah. Uh, yes. He died doing what he loved, and the people yeah. just accept it. Right. But they also, they're like, I'm going to die doing this. Right. Yeah. And I, it's going to be a so great So death. I agree. I am, I am yeah. getting way on board with you that they, okay. That he sort of is like, hey, if you so want to go do, I mean, you're gonna die. Go, let's go. But then the resources this. are gonna have to be used to clean. But think you about up. that fucking sub, the one that went, you know. That, I know the that, submersible. That, oh. and they lied about all that stuff. I know, dude. <laughs> they used like no. a Nintendo like Game Bad. Boy to like control it. All right, officials say the, and we'll guess his age later. Mar- I'm not looking over your shoulder anymore. Marathon <laughs> runner refused <laughs> to afraid. leave. The, refused to leave the vessel for how many days? So they made contact Ooh. with him, and then for how many and days he just he, kept going? Yeah, he's this like, guy's I'm not a badass now. He's like, I'm, I'm not, this. I'm not leaving this thing. I am impressed with seventy miles. How many days did he? Twelve days. What do you think? Four, six, six. One of six, you is one maybe. day off. One of you Seven. is one day off. Seven, five. Is it me again? No, really? no, just one of you is one. Oh, three, 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 three. What do you think? I think you can go uh, one up or one down. I think it's me. I'm I go I 11 or, or, or oh, I think 11, 11. Okay. Get your answers in townies because he would not leave the vessel for three days. Dan, you're very good. <sighs> yeah. Nice Dan. Mr. Bellucci. I feel like that's being too kind to the guy. John it's, or too Jim? formal. <laughs> Bellucci. <laughs> hey, what's my brother? <laughs> according to, according to Reza, just kidding. Uh, Mr. Bellucci, according to, uh, has tried three similar voyages before all of which ended in coast guard intervention. Okay. The makeshift contraption he was using was shaped as a wheel with paddles that are designed designed to propel it forward. So what's forward. happening? Either Coast Guard's seeing him or other vessels are He's seeing like a him river and radioing wheel. Coast Guard. Right. And because like, he, he this, doesn't want them to find they're out. They're like, this bitch. This but clown. it's like gigantic and you're going to see it. He, he needs to do this on like Christmas Day where most people are not <laughs> going right. to be out on that's the right. water yeah. and that's the right. lower that's staff right. for the Coast Guard. Why is he doing it in 
September yeah. and the cops pull up and they're like, you lose your riverboat? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what's going on there, buddy? How we, what, what's happening? Anyway, do you know how fast you were going? Uh, based on the condition <laughs> of the vessel, which was afloat as a, as a result of wiring and buoys, Dan, yep. U.S. Coast Guard uh, officers determined Bellucci was conducting a manifestly unsafe voyage. So there that's where they can step in. Go. We're protecting you from yourself. Mr. Bellucci's voyage began as officials were preparing for the arrival of a major hurricane. Not a good Dude, idea. Dude, read the fucking weather, <laughs> man. Jeez. If you're going to build this thing. Oh, wow. We did a story probably, oh my God, years and years and years ago. We maybe did this on one of his earlier ones. No, I'm saying we did a story about a guy who went over Niagara Falls and yeah. killed himself. That's oh, right. Yeah. And yep. he sold shirt. He created a website mm-hmm. called uh, something like, uh, uh, his uh, name was like, his name was like Got Me Over Trucker a Barrel. Barrel. Yeah. And he was like, uh, he was like, Trucker Damone died <laughs> on the Niagara Fault. Like he knew he wasn't going to make it. And all I got was this. Yeah, and he sold T-shirts and all this stuff. And there was just a thing of him like, he was going to do this. Yeah, and he was going to die. Can't stop him. Like, there's a part where they should have been like, "Hurricane's coming. We're going to give you what you can either come with us, or you can ride this out." But you didn't want him blown back into someone's house. That's what I'm saying. He's 70 miles out. That's Uh, that's international waters. Hurricane can take. He's not going to make it. Hurricane could drop him on the other side. Officials say he refused to step off the vessel. And threaten to kill himself. Mm-hmm. Well, oh, that's what you're doing no with shit. the vessel. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to kill myself. Like, we know. We dude. know. Yeah, you're doing do you want to do it now or in like 20 Jeez. days? Slowly or quickly? How do you want to go? He so planned- they were three days and he had already started. I'm trying to figure out how many days. Because think of all the protein bars you would have to bring I mean, with yeah. you and water. And it would melt. And then this is where, do you want to hear At how? This month. is where you're kind of like, well, you don't have a plan. He's like, he also claimed they had a bomb on board. Shut up. Why would you oh, have, why wow. would you want a bomb on board? Right. So right. This and guy's he's nuts. He's right. You wanted to get caught. Yeah, on September 1st, off. he eventually surrendered and abandoned his vessel after being brought to a Coast Guard base in Miami and then taken to a rave. Kidding. <laughs> uh, officials later determined that the bomb had been fake. So he did have a bomb on board, but it was fake. Mm. Fake bomb. So again, Adding weight. Yes. Why are you adding weight to the thing you got to pedal? Mm-hmm. He's now facing federal charges of obstruction of a boarding and violation of a captain of the port order. This is all like old pirate law and stuff. <laughs> this is all like, the ste- you know, like that's Yo. my favorite name for a job oh. is the stevedore. The that's stevedore like, the says st- you have come <laughs> forth to this place and now. You shall be banished here. You have forth. angered the stevedore. Parlay, parlay. The it- stevedore clause allows me to step forth three steps to you <laughs> under the law of the sun. <laughs> and have and may have sexual relations with your spouse. The exactly. Commodore. Stevedore says that? Prima the- nocte. I love the stevedores. There is Lionel a street Ritchie. in L.A. called Commodore Sloat. I love Great it. Great oh, yeah. name. Great it's un- name. It's unclear whether he obtained a lawyer to represent him in the criminal case. This is a guy who represents himself, right? Oh, definitely. And he's and he's like, I only work from a standing desk. That's right. <laughs> well, the courtroom is a regular desk. I'm no, bringing no. in my standing desk. Standing I said de- what I said. I said what I said. Uh, Your Honor, I need to speak with my client. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm finding my client. <laughs> in 2021, he was arrested after being rescued while trying to ride from Florida to New York. After drifting how many miles south of his departure point? He oh, was trying to go idiot. from Florida to New York, but he drifted how many, down from New York. How many miles did he drift south oh, when he was trying to go? Just to listen there. to the Jews. You come down from New York to Florida. That's, that's right. how it works. 17, going back up. 17 miles. 17 miles? How many miles did he I drift? He was near 25 miles. What do you think? I'm going to say 24. Okay. Get your answers in, townies. He drifted 30 miles oh, south. The wrong way. South of the departure look at point. Look current. So this dude doesn't look at current. also stream. doesn't look at the fucking weather, weather. patterns. Yeah. yeah. In 2014, he had to be rescued from a similar contraption near St. Augustine. Oh, this guy. And then two years later, he had to be rescued off the coast of Jupiter near Palm Beach, Florida. This guy is now the pr- your kid who won't stop sticking yeah. his finger into the socket. He is this could be to, a cool movie. Yeah. To quote Biggie Smalls, he is ready to die. Right. Mm-hmm. According to previous interviews, Mr. Bellucci said he he was attempting the voyages to raise money for a variety of causes, including for the homeless and the Coast Guard. Coast Guard's are like, we're we good. Yeah, money. we do not need you to raise hey man, money. No, we're for, a federal organization. What? We you want me to stop dollars. raising? No, it's like, for you guys. This, this definitely <laughs> Dude, feels I'm like, doing it for you guys. Like an after the fact. What? You want me to stop raising money for you guys? Okay. Oh, <laughs> my God. So where there's an ex-wife who's like, you know, I haven't talked to him in years. <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea what he's. That up was to. him. Oh what wow. Okay. Right. He always said he was going to do something. That explains a lot. 
I always thought that was a joke. (laughs) My goal is to not, quote, my goal is to not only raise money for homeless people, raise money for the Coast Guard, raise money for the police department. Again, police department is like, do not rope us in. Don't rope us into that hamster wheel. You've you've diversified your charitable charitable donations so much Much that that no one's going to benefit. And raise money for the fire department. How much money have you raised? Uh, Nothing yet. About 30 cents. I love the idea that things raise money. Like if you do something crazy, it's like, why are you doing this? It's like, uh, to raise money. money. Breast cancer awareness. It's like, eh, it's not like someone should just say, oh, why are you doing this? Oh, because it's uh, fucking crazy. Yeah, and I exactly. want to do it. Because I'm cool. a nut and yeah. I want to just, yeah, I want to So do you them. think that we'll ever have another evil Knievel? Do you think we'll ever have another guy? We really don't really much have that. Illegal. Rum. Illegal Knievel. Illegal Knievel? Come Illegal. on. That's who this guy is. Illegal Knievel. I think David Blaine is our most like yeah like the guy, guy. Who did, like yeah, some crazy like, can you believe he did that like no but like walking across a, a high wire that's been so Willinda brother yeah, he, yeah. That Willinda guy did yeah the that Willinda's years like ago. yeah they have to have continued to have spawn anyway they're in public service they do it for safety they help other people so again he's trying to get everyone on board right. with him it's like don't don't throw this guy away he's doing it for the police department exactly. Anyway, so that's it. It's we're gonna trick. we're gonna get out of here on this. Okay. All my comedy shows are starting to be. Uh, I'm raising money for the police department, and the fire department, yeah. and for the coast guard. Yeah, sure. I don't <laughs> think. Yeah, say. I don't think this guy should be referred to as a marathon runner. I think he's like. Why? Well, he, he's done it. Fine, but like that's not how you identify this guy. Just crazy guy on the ocean. Like sure. Like daredevil. Like like you said, illegal Knievel. That's the way I would describe marathon him. Marathon bummer. Right. Yeah. <laughs> how old? We we'll get out of here on this. Guy. How old? Is Reza Bellucci. Uh, he's a marathon runner. He's a he's rebel, a rebel, and a runner. He's a signal to turn in green. He's a guy on a hamster wheel that wants to run a big machine. Nice. Right. How old is Reza Bellucci? We'll get out of here on this, and then Danny got the last story. I'm going to guess that he is 41 years old. Mm-hmm. What do you think? I was going to guess the same thing, honestly. So guess really? one. So I'll guess 37. Okay, Jay. The other guy was 37. I was going to say 37. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, look at this. Now you got to get some. Look at this. I'm look at this. Reza Belushi. I'm going to say he's, uh, he's 33 years old. 33 years old. Okay. Get your answers in, townies. We've got one more story. Johnny Pemberton. Gonna see, you guys are going to see him in Chicago, Chicago. at the Den. Chicago. Do it, guys. Doing his. And 14th I'm gonna, through the 17th. 14th through the 17th. And I, it's like something. Reggae so, Minnesota Colossal. bag. Good enough. What is it? Minnesota reggae colossal. Okay. You almost got oh, it. Dude, you almost got it. it. All right. Reza Bellucci. Reggae Minnesota colossal. Minnesota bag. reggae colossal. Bag. bag is 44 years old. Oh. Oh. All right. We'll be right back with more. Danny got the last story. We'll be right back with more Dumb People Town with Johnny Pemberton. Stick around. Make a sound. There's more Dumb People Town. All right, guys, real talk. I got to tell you this. 52% of men over 40 experience some mm-hmm. form of ED between the ages of 40 and 70. That's right. But it's always been this taboo topic. Thankfully, our friends at Hims they're changing that by providing affordable access to ED treatment all yeah. online. There's so, no shame in wanting to, like, perform yeah, better and whatsoever. have a good, happy, healthy relationship. And Why sometimes not? there's, like, romantic when you want to yes. be. A placebo effect also that connects with something like this, which is if you know that that's not going to be a problem, then you will have an experience that you can feel like going into it. You can just be in the moment yeah. and enjoy yourself that's and nice. actually feel good. It's a nice way for you to feel good about yourself as you go into these encounters. And it does improve relationships. It just yep. does. Hims is changing men's health care by providing access to affordable and discreet sexual health treatments from uh, all from the comfort of your couch. They provide access to cl- clinically proven alternatives to Viagra and Cialis up to 95% cheaper with options as low as $2 per dose. Two bucks to much. have a good night. No, there you go. Well, Two bucks well, to have a good it night. Seems like an easy decision. The process right is simple and 100 percent online. There's no uncomfortable doctor visits, which is nice. You answer your, a series of questions on their site, and a medical provider will determine the right treatment option. If you're prescribed, your medication ships directly to you for free and in discreet packets. You don't even have to worry about everybody who wear your mail or if you live in a place where people, people get boxes and they're like, ah, okay. That's right. We know what they ordered. That's right. No insurance is needed. Pay one low price uh, for your treatments, online visits, ongoing shipments, and pr- and provider messaging. So you can start your free online visit at hymns.com slash DPT. 
That's H-I-M-S dot com slash DPT for your personalized ED treatment options. Hims dot com slash DPT. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety inf- information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Stick around. Make a sound. There's more to people town. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the show. Daniel, before you jump into the final story, give us a little taste where people can find you. I'm so excited for your special to come out in April. I cannot wait for Wine Club. Movie's out now, though. Movie's out now. Wine Club is out right now. I really, it feels so good to say this confidently. Um, If you go and watch it, I believe you will enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. We, you know, we've all done, been a, yeah. been a pro, done projects and stuff where we're like, eh, nobody really needs to check that out. That <laughs> kind of that this is not one of those <laughs> things. Um, I'm proud of the work that I did it. I'm proud of my performance. I'm proud of the people I it's made it with. It's a good movie too. Everyone in it is so funny. And uh, yeah, it's just a really good, fun, this time of year, like, oh, let's just watch this and it'll be a good time. You know it's what I mean? It's a great, like, indie film yeah. that is a, you can get wherever, club. wherever wine and club. um i i don't say this uh with any sort of self boastfulness but um i'm i'm not in like just one scene this is like my movie. <laughs> he's the lead the well, sometimes you did, people are like oh i yeah. thought you'd be in that more I, i'm in it maybe too much you could argue <laughs> no stop it no yeah. i no. do the opposite i like to be like the, thing, the things i'm in the most to be like yeah i'm i and then like Johnny you were in there yeah uh, so, so it's one called Wine Club check that out I have dates uh, DanielVanKirk.com I don't know exactly when this drops but I might have been in Des Moines and Cedar Rapids but I will be in, uh, at the beginning of March I'm in DC I'm also going to be in Wisconsin uh, I do, I'm part of Netflix as a joke uh, at the Bourbon Room on Mother's Day that's a Sunday everything is up at DanielVanKirk.com and Rose Gold comes out April 17th I hope you check it out I love Same. it. All right, Daniel, let's jump into this last story. Ready? Yep. This is from Adam Poulton at Pulski. I love 75. Me. Woman stuck upside down in exercise machine calls 911 for help. Dude, Ooh. I love that she had her phone on her. <laughs> Might have been her watch. Guys, her, yeah, are you yeah. doing it through her the watch? Calories. Look at her. Let oh my God! Oh, that's one of those teeter hang-up. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, that, I've never that, done. Is this. that a back thing? The yeah, inver- yeah, like you hang up the inversion do therapy, stuff. inversion yeah. table, like whatever they call I'm it. I'm Batman, sort of thing. This is just a simple forty-hour abs. Third, third, <laughs> oh, third no. story, little dumb oh, person, poor, little, caught poor in the thing. Dump. Footage captured the embarrassing moment in Ohio Jim Bunny. Jim yeah. Bunny? Jim we, is that, is that a right? word? Is that, is, Jim like, Bunny? Do, do you have to um, touch a woman's ass when you say that, yeah. that yeah. you don't know? Hey, Jim, what I like. It's like a, like, like a nice female. Yeah, yeah, Jim, yeah, yeah. It's like a Jim rat. Like oh, Jim guy Bunny. You know, I'm always over a little Jim Bunny. Jim, Jim, Bunny. Bunny. Jim Bunny. She you, was um, ass over tea kettle. Jim Bunny. You know, Jim Bunny. Get, can you guys want another round of drinks? That's who says uh, Jim Bunny. This guy. You know, can you do it? It's making me uncomfortable just you Let me get a carrot juice for the Jim Bunny. I mean, you guys are a little bit older than than, than, than us than but i'm world. just saying i always i say this i have a brother eight years younger than me and and w- when i talk about like technology and society and stuff i tell people and maybe it was just rochelle but i think it probably holds up for you guys as well my childhood is closer to my mother's experience yeah. than it is my brother's who's eight years it's younger right. than me yeah, right. because right, be, because tech, the, the internet and yeah. everything dude my like, daughters who are two years apart have like yes. there's a but, massive but i remember thing. being in grade school again this may be a rochelle thing because it's a little small farm town but i remember syncing up the vinyl record with the reel to reel yeah to watch things in class but by the time i graduated high school we had cell phones <laughs> and dvds insane. Damn, like, that movement is insane. Right. Yeah, that is that's wild. Lot, that's but, but there is just this Jim Bunny thing is what I'm running off of, so I yes, apologize. Yes. But there is, we did live in enough of that era where there still was the like, you, men yeah. would just put their hands on the small of a woman's back that they didn't know to like yeah. order another drink. Such a wild, uh-huh. just a wild time. Uh, it's right? why like whenever I watch like old Mad Men, I'm like, oh my God. Like we remember shocking. cigarette tra- uh, ashtrays in McDonald's. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, I remember yeah. the little gold planes. People would smoke on the plane. Yes, you know? and you'd sit in the non-smoking portion of the mm-hmm. plane. Out in yeah. the back, there okay. was uh, Polish Airlines. This That's is the, true. This, this is, is not, a friend, not, it's a not a joke. Not a joke. Polish joke. God, I love. Friend, I love. I have a lot of these in my hour. Not a joke. Where I tell people, I go. This isn't even a it's joke. Not a joke. Like, I'm just Glass. telling you. Our a friend thing. went on the March of the Living to go to like the concentration camps in Poland, and he flew on Polish airlines, and he said the left half of the plane was smoking, and the right half was not. This is even that is it's Dan. like it's it is true. Everyone on the left side of the plane was smoking. Everyone on the, the right, right side, side had to smell. Sometimes I still do it. I walk into a restaurant and they'll be like, "For two, I go, yes, smoking." 
<laughs> it needs to come back. I really think that uh, just, after COVID, it should be like, yeah, you guys can smoke in the airports again now, okay? Just everywhere. Just like Dude, give it up. Vaping. I'm not going to smoke, but who That's cares? a vaping section. Okay. Where was it? Poor okay. girl. Poor girl. The, yeah, this uh, gym woman. Bunny. This gym bunny. trapped upside down in exercise equipment and had, been, had to be extricated by police. Oh, this is God. so embarrassing, Christine Fald told the dispatcher after calling 911 in a clip depicting the freak accident. Which Why occurred. isn't someone else a at the gym calling it accident? for? Because it occurred at 3 a.m. while working out at 24-hour powerhouse gym. Come on. Just say you. Who's Wait, taking the video? Does there someone work there? Yeah. No, she's got the keys. How do you get in? In Berea. She was reportedly filming herself using the inversion oh, no, table, no. a medieval looking contraption that yeah. allegedly eas eases people's pain, back, back pain, pain by turning Who's them around. writing this? Allegedly no. medieval? <laughs> this is all like. <laughs> Someone who doesn't trust the inversion also machine. extricated? Yeah. In no. a video of her mishap, she said that she had set up her phone, quote, to record a video of me on the inversion table. And I'm just saying how much I love it for my lower back, especially when I'm going to the gym at 3 a.m. and my back is really stiff and I don't want to wake up. Okay, we get She it. must get hit on all the time at the gym. Where There's she's nobody like, there. I know I'm saying she's she like the only time I can go is the gym bunny. She's like the only time I go at 3 a.m. I want to get 3 on 3 a.m. I must be working out. It's 3 a.m. I must be hanging. <laughs> <laughs> and she says, baby, yeah. baby, I'm stuck in this. Okay. We need to extricate you from, <laughs> from I'm be upside down as well. However, the exercise <laughs> equipment went south, and so did she. That was me. Ooh. After she became stuck dangling upside down in the device, it wound up being a viral video in the making. Mm -hmm. then, it, then it just caught the whole thing and kept recording, she yeah. said, yeah. Uh, of her at the ready phone. Yeah, actually, that. I had to post it. Yeah, exactly. In one of the humiliating clips, Folds, mm -hmm. F-A-U-L-D-S. She did post it, Dan can be seen flailing helplessly oh, okay. after realizing she was trapped. At one point, the gym shark... <laughs> the gym shark? Just shark now. Yeah, gym shark. <laughs> oh, my God. Gym what bunny. is this, the New York gym Post or something gym like that? Gym shark. Even attempts to... I'm going to tell you. It is the New York yeah. Post. Oh, yeah. how do you like that? Oh, of course it is. Yes. The Boom. New York Post... That feels good. Dude, okay. That I feels am, good. The New York Post is like the guy putting his hand on the small of but a But it's kind of... You know, you got to admit, it's better than other reading other things. It's I nice mean, and fun. I want to punch the New York Post yeah. in the face. Yes. I but that's why it's good. It's yeah, that's it. It evokes an emotion and angers you. Yeah. And one of the, the gym shark even attempts to crunch her way up to the leg clamps and undo them a la Houdini. Uh, so that's the moment where you're like, though. I need to work on my abs more because right. I'm only getting up to my mid thigh. Fold's predicament was particularly dire as there were only a few other people at the gym during the overnight hour and they were in other rooms mm -hmm. with music playing. Mm -hmm. Staff was also absent because users scanned key cards for the entrance at that time. The inverted influencer explained. Now they have one of these in Rochelle too. It's called 24 Hour Fitness. Mm -hmm. And I always wonder who goes at 3 a.m. No matter what time I roll, let's say I land at Midway at fucking 10 o'clock, I get my rental car, I drive out to Rochelle, it's now that it's 11 30 midnight whatever You'll and go. i'll look as i drive by and there are people in there yeah i always wonder who is that right but then also what how much is the insurance policy you have to have mm. to be a gym that allows you people sign, to work out with you sign, oh, yeah, a waiver. sign a waiver you sign a waiver when you sign your contract that like if i'm here in an hours where no one is here that it is my responsibility everything's on me everything yeah. Yeah. Everything. everything's on you thankfully the imperial ohio ohioan Mm -hmm. Was able to use her smartwatch. Who there you said go. Jay said it. Wow. To dial nine one one as seen in the hilarious call. Call police. There's only one person at the gym, and I got stuck. You know that backboard thing? She could be heard saying while hanging for her feet uh -huh. from her feet. I'm stuck in reverse, like back decompression thing. Reverse. Stuck in reverse. Stuck in reverse. She's a human bat. Uh, bat woman. I think the thing How went to. There hasn't been a bat woman. Come on. There's cat There's woman. There's bat girl. There's bat, bat girl, but, but bat, bat woman. woman. Right. Well, Come on. Make it a mature be. human being. Yeah. An old I, bat. An old well, she, is a, she is a woman. That's what's wild. <laughs> that old bat's come <laughs> flapping around here again. This that old woman bat. inverted upside down at the gym. She's bad. This is an origin story, Dan. I think yeah. the thing went too far, and I just got stuck upside down and can't get myself right side up. She continued telling the dispatcher who didn't care <laughs> i'm stuck <laughs> trying to get my buddy's attention but he's in the other room lifting i'm sorry i'm just stuck he's lifting too much and i told him not to lift with his back like she adds all these other details Shortly in they're like there after <laughs> police arrived at the scene and freed her from the spine decompression how which how much you want about one of the guys walked in and was like get the jaws of life <laughs> Bat lady over here. How many minutes do you think she was stuck upside down? Mm, 42. 42. I'm guessing. In honor uh, of Jackie, Jackie Robinson. Robinson. Yeah, I agree. I'm guessing uh, 28. 28? 35. 35. 
In total, Falls had been trapped upside down for 12 minutes. Oh, that's it. oh it's not that much. So you, you, you imagine she had to call within the three to five minute oh, yeah. range, which still gives them a, the cops about 10 minutes. To Kudos to the cops for coming right pretty up. Fucking quick. But being trapped upside down, it wouldn't take me very long to be like, I'm scared. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Agreed. Upside 100%. down. If you're trapped, did the at cops all? have to break through the door to get in? No, I'm sure they. <laughs> no, they just signed up for sure. a 12 month membership. <laughs> <laughs> you guys do need a pass. Yes. <laughs> if you're going to go back there, you do need a pass. Right. Oh you God, cannot so use the funny. sauna or the showers. <laughs> that would be it's a like, funny sketch. What do you mean? I have to. Sorry, guys, but it's it's auto renew. We got to so sign you like, up. Yeah, if I just I need a credit card. You got to remember to cancel. If I just let you in and then I see that you guys are kind of start working out, I'm going to have to let every first responder in. Yeah. And we, we do have these policies. We've for done that in the past. And Obviously, it has thank you now, for your service. If you do want to go help her today, I can give you the passes. We will need to do a tour of the locker rooms before I let you into that area. Oh, we could do it. If you wanted to sign up for a, a dual black membership, which is uh, the Black Express yeah. gold yeah. level, can, yeah. you right, guys can up. share it. And that's you guys would save $5 a year. That's and right. that's like year. four classes a, a month. Mm-hmm. Four classes, four classes a, month a month. Anyone you can just drop into. And you can share that class. And also rolls over. But we have to do cash only. Cash only. And it's all going to be up front for the first four years. This does this offer does expire today. Yeah. Actually, we only take traveler's checks. <laughs> yeah. Not even cash. While well, the exercise enthusiast wasn't harmed during the ordeal, she said she doesn't know if she'll ever go on that table again, to be honest. Oh, which God. means she's going to do it. I want you on that table. She I also need said she'll table. avoid, because she put all this on TikTok, for a few days she's going to avoid because it was so overwhelming that I need a mental break. Oh, In retrospect, God. Fold said she learned to see the funny side of her situation. Did you? People are saying, why would you post that? So embarrassed. 12 minutes in But hell. I'm like, sometimes you got to laugh at yourself and move on. The mortified fit influencer so is the deal with the post is that you have to describe them in a different way every, every single, single time, time. Wait, wait. I think that's this sort woman, of it yeah so wait wait told complex this outcome. woman it's not sometimes you have to laugh at yourself this woman was like i will go viral with yes, this i got this the clip i think I, I got it while certainly a comical situation getting trapped upside down isn't as humorous as it sounds According to Healthline, mm-hmm. it is possible Ooh. to die from hanging upside down for wow. too long. It's really? rare, but blood can pool in the head, That's which right. can be extremely dangerous for the There you body. go. Mm-hmm. God, bless. God bless the police department for being there for her. I mean, this is when they getting... saved her. Can oh, I see what she looks God. like again? I'll yeah. try, yeah. She's a fit influencer, guys. Let me see. Is she's, she's a, a gym bunny. Is she a, a bunny. bigger person? Yeah, she's a, she's a little bigger. She's great. Good. God so bless her. So did the machine break her. or did she have... She, I think she either it got, did break or it does look like she's a little inverted. Yeah. Or like maybe she it went too far. So By the way, I that can't be the kind of thing that you, if you can really get your... You can push it down and then Yeah, but you can grab those up. handles. The idea is you grab the handles and you can... Throw yourself forward. Your also, can't you like just under? I don't know. I don't know how it goes. Look, there's there. a huge tractor tire. Yeah, this gym is rough. Can't she throw herself onto her side? What like knock house? the machine over or something? Oh, oh that, my god, that, that would get, hurt oh. so bad, Randy. Ooh, you break a leg. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's a the there. Story. You go. That's the story. Right, go to Johnny's one man show. Check Especially it out. in Chicago. You guys know. I know. Come on, Chicago Den people theater. Come out. Go get check there. it out and go see us. Go see Dan's movie and uh, when his special comes out. We love you guys so much. Thanks for supporting us. And oh shit, we got to get back to work. Boom. Stick around. Make a sound. There's more dumb people town.